Hello and welcome. You're watching Hit The Streets with me, Steve G. It's that time of the week again where we look back at Monday's street photography point of view video, which took place in Camden this week, which was a little bit fun, a lot fun. Uh, and we're gonna talk about some of the, the photos that I really like out of that session and some of the photos that didn't work quite so well. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, it'll be up here somewhere. And if this is your first time visiting this channel, make sure and hit that subscribe button down below because we've got lots of really cool things coming. And I'll see you guys right after this. So let's talk about Camden. Camden's kind of a funny one. I've shot in Camden several times before and I have to admit to never coming away with what I term as some really, really keep worthy photos. This time I don't think was all that different. I don't mean to be super negative on myself, uh, but I just think it wasn't one of those super, super productive sessions. Counting out the Barbican estate, which took place last week, the following week was set in and around Covent Garden Market, which in terms of the videos that I've put on YouTube so far set a little bit of a high watermark for me in terms of the quality of photos that I was able to get within that hour, hour and a half long session. So it came as a little bit of a disappointment to me whenever I hit the streets of Camden and 20 minutes into the session, I still didn't really have anything particularly noteworthy. Camden itself, I think, has changed quite a lot in recent years, and any Londoner will tell you that. I mean, I came to London around eight or nine years ago already, and Camden back then was a very, very different place. And in that near decade, I think the entire tone of all of Camden Town has somewhat changed. It's become, I don't want to use the word gentrified, but it's now a foodie hotspot. Uh, where there once were punks, there's now Asian tourists with selfie sticks and where there once was all these little alternative stores, now you get a lot of little hipster pop-ups and things like that. It's not to say that that stuff can't be beautiful, but in terms of what you expect to get from a Camden street photography session, it's a little bit different. Add to that that I'm shooting in the height of summer, so you've got all this really, really harsh light, which for last week's video in the Barbican Estate worked really, really well to photograph some architecture. But when you're milling around the crowds and you're jumping in and out of shadow in Camden, it can be a little bit difficult to keep on top of that exposure compensation. Uh, but I think I did an okay job and there were no photos that were super compromised by being either over or underexposed. So I think I did okay in that regard. The first breakthrough I think of the day came when I photographed that mural and the guy who was sort of bunkered down in all fours opening a suitcase. It's kind of a funny one because in some ways it almost to me looks like he's getting a kiss from the mural uh, and his boxers and everything sort of hanging out the back of the image which just gives you a couple of little things to, to draw your eye and, and, and make it a little bit more interesting than it would be otherwise. I mean, it was the first what I would term interesting slash okay photo of the session. Maybe I am being a little bit hard on myself, but things really picked up then whenever I find that uh, makeshift cow uh, outside the rear entrance to Camden, uh, Camden Food Market. And I just sort of camped out there and I knew that no time would go past before someone would reach out their hand as if they were feeding it or touching it or wiping its nose. And sure as shitting, pun intended, a guy came running out within about 40 seconds and touched the snout of the cow. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I was just in the perfect position at the right time to just snap that one. It's just quick, it's fun, it's throwaway. So after that, there was a whole lot of, well, nothing for me for about 30 minutes. To you guys, it's probably about two minutes. Uh, but at one point, I got this really, really nice shaft of light that was coming down into this rear alleyway in the very, very back of Camden, outside an antique store. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to camp here for a couple of minutes, which I don't normally do in the POVs because it gives you this weird kind of, you're moving one minute and then all of a sudden I've stopped for about 10 seconds and it just looks a little bit strange, so I don't normally do it. 
Uh, but I, I thought, right, okay, the light is nice enough to justify my camping out here for a while. So I did just that and I waited the perfect amount of time for a girl to just round the corner and just step into that light. Uh, it's not the prettiest of photos or, or necessarily the most interesting because she's carrying an ugly looking Tesco bag. And um, so there are little downsides to that. But I mean, it's worth saying if you do find a spot that you really like, do go all Henry Cartier Bresson on it and do camp out and see if you can get that decisive moment. In fact, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret, tiny little secret. I do have an entire new series of videos all about just camping in one spot and waiting for that decisive moment. Those go live in about, I wanna say a month. So do stay tuned for that. It is well worth turning in for. So back to the session. The photo that took place almost immediately after that was actually one of my personally more interesting photographs. It was a guy with a vape stick. And if you watch the video back, he's actually standing in this perfect gloomy light. And when he blows out the vape, it just sort of catches that light and just resonates and punches out of the background, which is pretty fun. So after that, I actually decided to get out of the market proper and go for a little walk just up the lock. And there wasn't an awful lot of stuff to see there. It was mostly people who had bought food and were just sort of almost dangling their feet over the side of the canal just while they ate. So there wasn't anything particularly interesting, apart from a woman who almost crashed a boat for some reason. I don't know what went wrong there. Uh, there was one guy who was sort of laying on his back, almost looked half dead if you have no context as to what's going on around him. And that was pretty funny. But probably one of the images that I liked the most towards the end of the session was actually a photograph that I shot from the hip, which is basically just when I'm walking, I have the camera down by my side. It's not opportunistic to be able to lift the camera in that moment to take a photo of someone. Either it's something I spotted last minute or something that I'm deliberately trying to photograph candidly. And that was actually a real punky looking guy with, um, I think it might've been a Cannibal Corpse t-shirt up against this stall of just loads of stuff. It's a really busy photograph, but he's such an interesting subject. So I'd say that was a pretty okay session. I got some decent photographs out of it, nothing to write home about. Uh, out of the photographs that I've just talked about, do let me know in the comments section if you liked or loathed them. You guys know that I'm pretty active down there. I try and respond to as many people as possible, as fast as possible, in a way that I hope makes sense to people. Um, so yeah, do, do leave uh, something down in the comments section. Like I said at the opening, if this is your first time here, do hit subscribe and do hit that thumbs up button too. It does make all the difference to YouTube, promoting this video to other people who may love the content. So until Monday, where I'm going to be doing another street photography point of view, this time in and around Tower Bridge and City Hall, uh, hit the streets, guys, get out there and keep shooting and tag me in some of your photos too, because those are awesome. See you later.